I know you saw the title of the video and you were probably like the rest of my family saying again. So I am moving. I don't want to. I wasn't ready for this, I'm not gonna lie. We've been here for about a year and a half and the Toronto market is absolutely disgusting. It's insane. And we applied to this place for fun, not thinking that we would get it because we've been doing that this whole year so far and we haven't gotten any luck. And to our surprise, <laughs> we heard back and we ended up getting this place. It is completely opposite to what we have now. I've never lived in a residential home before. It is technically a basement. It's a walkout basement. So I've been used to condo living since moving out on my own. So it's gonna be a huge change, but there is so much space and my room, my office will be so much bigger so I can have more stuff in there, move around, have different angles and lighting set up. And even though it is dark, my main focus is gonna be on perfection my lighting so that it doesn't feel dark and cluttered. But that means for the desk that we are doing something completely different. I can now mount things to the wall, I can paint. So I already have a new desktop that I was going to swap this out here. And once the desktop came, we found out that we were moving. So that is going to be for the new space, nice refresher. It matches the wood on my monitor shelf and my drawer underneath the desk. So I get to bring some cozy to my setup. I absolutely adore the white. It makes the RGB pop so much, but I don't know if I want to bring this much RGB into the new setup. You never know. Obviously I freaking love RGB so much that's not gonna change. I'm still gonna have a lot of it, but I'm just gonna kind of tone down this setup a little bit with the unicorn puke and the white and bright. You know, this was a really nice fresh setup to have in this room. New style that I've never had before to an extent, but I just feel like maybe I I want to work on this, build on this, but mature it a little bit. So I'm really, really excited. I know you guys love seeing new designs that I do. So yeah, I'm, I'm moving. <laughs> Before we get any further, I just want to give a quick shout out to today's sponsor, HelloFresh. If you're anything like me, a lazy, not so great cook who lives far from a grocery store, or if you live in an insanely populated concrete jungle where a bag of grapes equals my monthly rent, then you absolutely need to try delicious and easy to make recipes delivered straight from the farm to your door, courtesy of HelloFresh. Coming from someone who used to order takeout three times a day, I'm not proud, okay? You have no excuse to not eat well when HelloFresh exists. Because because every single week they offer 40 recipes and 100 seasonal snacks and convenience items that use fresh and high quality pre-portioned ingredients. So you're covered for breakfast, lunch, dinner, and all of those little snacky snacks in between. I'm currently on a fitness and health journey and I get really overwhelmed with planning what I'll eat every day, which often leads me to just give in to delivery apps and then I just feel guilty. Or I'll see how expensive my grocery bill gets after only like 10 basic items when I know most of that will just go bad in my fridge. So I love that I only need to choose which delicious pre-portioned recipes tickle my fancy for the week and wait a few days for it to show up at my door. Then I just follow the foolproof instructions and bam, a yummy meal that makes me feel like a chef. Rinse and repeat every week until I hit my goals. It's cheaper and produces less food waste than both grocery shopping and takeout, so it's a win-win. And as cute as girl and boy dinners are, you need your nutrients, okay? It doesn't matter what your lifestyle is, busy, sedentary, pescatarian, vegetarian, I promise you will find something from HelloFresh that everyone in your house household will love. So if you'd like to try your first HelloFresh box for 50% off plus free shipping, then you can check the link in the description or use my code on screen, which also helps support the channel. Thank you so much to HelloFresh for sponsoring this portion of the video. I am very excited because I got another projector for the new space. Now I can't wait to show you guys how much room I'll have in both my office in the main living room we have some huge walls which means that we can have some like powerful projectors so this is the axa technologies p6 ultimate projector ultimate six hour battery wi-fi and an 120 inch screen in this room it kind of sucks i can't show the like full potential of this because my room is so small but in the new space it's gonna be a game changer already comes in this really nice case so this is where all the cables are stored and the remote you even have a little strap and it comes with oh this is actually really nice they have their own brick audio cables and then here she 
she is in all of her glory. She is heavy. So right off the bat, I can notice the little holes for the strap, which is really cute. So because this has a six hour battery, you can carry this around, bring it outside. If you have some sort of like backyard with a projector screen for like movie nights, this would be so perfect if you don't really have a nearby outlet. Welcome to my very messy, I'm not gonna show you the full thing, but my very messy bookshelf. Okay, turn off office. I'm gonna remove these really quickly. That is so bright. And it's not even fully dark in my room yet. This is a little sneak peek at a wallpaper I'm actually working on, so stay tuned. Already really colorful. I really like the colors. It's not too like overly contrasty. Like you can very much so still see the whites and the definition between a white and an even brighter white. So that's already a good start. This looks so good. All right, so I have set it up so that the sound will come from the projector. Let me just put it up to max volume. I have all white setups that I've both worked and gained out of, but I always wondered what it would look like if I took a stab at my complete opposite aesthetic with an all black setup. Okay, so with the sound, obviously if you have better speakers, I would recommend that, especially if you're a movie buff, because the sound isn't gonna blow you away. It's not very good. You're paying for the quality that you can see on screen because you can change the audio. You can't change this, right? There's flickering going on on my camera that is purely my camera. That does not actually happen in person. Looks so good. And of course this is completely out of the box. Obviously I haven't tampered with the settings or anything, but I kind of feel like I don't need to. I would maybe bump up the saturation a tiny, tiny bit. There's a feature that I'm really curious about because you can apparently add your streaming service. So right here, you'll see. So it's really confusing because I'm looking this way, but I'm pointing behind me. So we've got YouTube, Netflix, Disney. So we're officially connected to my Wi-Fi. I'm going to try again. This is something that you would be interested in. I'm gonna speak to you guys through this now. If you're in the market for a really great projector, whoa, that freaked me out. <laughs> I will leave this in the description. Again, this is from AXA. Highly recommend you checking out their projectors. I've never had any issues with any of mine, and I'm really excited for this upgrade because this is going to look exquisite in the new space. I'm so excited. I did not mean to turn on my computer, but okay. <laughs> Also, this wallpaper is completely free if you would like to download it. This is Astro Nuggie's gift. This wallpaper pack is actually for sale. It is my Wavy Gemstones collection, but I specifically made this color scheme for me when I just decided that I wanted to have one that matched all of my colors. And so many of you guys would DM me and ask me where to get this because you would notice that it wasn't part of my OG collection pack. So I have officially released it for free. You can get it on my Gumroad site. I'll have it linked in the description description along with my other wallpaper packs if you want to support me in the channel. So yeah, you can have this. We can match. Okay, so before I went to Greece, we went to HomeSense and I found this really cute frame set with a bunch of different sizes and I love that it had the wood trim because obviously these walls are white. So I thought it would be really nice to tie in with my wood accents here. Do these as gallery walls? Is that what it's called? I'm not really sure. I got two square ones as you can see and then I have a large uh, portrait size and a large square one and then before I left I also got our prints for all of this set up first so one of the prints already came I think before I went to Greece and it was I absolutely love the colors of this but like this was so expensive for just like a piece of paper that was printed but you know what art is art it's still really beautiful and I wanted it to kind of pull all of these tones these were all purchased from Etsy, support local artists, you know? Because I went to Greece, I really wanted, and I'm Greek, obviously, I wanted to pull in some really nice tones of where I went, 
It was really cute. Now what I did is I actually made a mock-up of these on Photoshop. I kind of like drew out my setup, chose colors and everything like that that matched the wood tones, picked a color on the wall, and then arranged the exact measurements of the picture frames, and then plopped these photos in. I'm a little weird like that, okay? I'm a little like specific. Just so I could see if the combination of the colors and the actual art looked good together, and these did. But that's also Photoshop, so maybe something lied, you know? And maybe I'll hate this, we'll find out. This was the biggest piece. This one had colors of everything. Oh, this is small. Ow. That was the most difficult picture frame I've ever had to deal with. I literally had to get a fork to pry this open. It just wasn't budging, which is weird. Mm, that's pretty good. How cute, right? This is horrible. Winner's Home Sense, this is a horrible design. This black part is the exact same size as the frame, so I can't push it down because I'm just hitting the little nubs here and it's breaking them. So I'm gonna have to like hold it down on one piece, but even then, this is like sliding around in there because it's too big and I don't feel like doing this right now. <laughs> okay, I changed the plans. I don't really feel like wasting time right now if I can't properly do this. Plus, they're not even going up right now. It was nice to finally open everything up and see the color scheme together in person. I do think it's gonna work really well. I'm just gonna kind of leave it and then that can be part of the whole like setup makeover in the new place. I will absolutely leave all of the artists in the description below if you're interested in any of the artwork you saw. All right, let's take a little break. I am thinking of bringing back gaming videos. Uh, I only ever made one where I played Genshin Impact. So sometimes I will be silent and sometimes I'll talk depending on what mood I am or how late it is, whatever. But I definitely want to start bringing those back. I haven't been doing what I have been wanting to or like how, what I've said I was going to do since quitting my job and doing this full time. So I'm a little disappointed in myself, I'm not going to lie, but life has been crazy and busy so i'm really taking this move as like a refresh to obviously have way more space to do whatever i want and take my channel and stuff to the next level but we'll see i'm nervous i'm excited there's a lot to do if you don't already know this game is called palea it is completely free to play it is open world well semi open world i love it it is so cute it's very chill it is a little grindy what do you mean? There's literally a fishing spot right there. Oh, it disappeared. But yeah, it is, it is a little grindy. It's really cool if you want a game to play with your friends and you like farming and fishing and questing and building. The building and decorating is really fun. So definitely check it out. It's a very community forward game, right? So there are trees and certain rocks that you can only take down with other people. So it definitely encourages you to play with friends or even play with everybody else online. And I haven't really experienced any toxicity. Maybe now it's changed if more players have started playing, but Let's hope it stays that way, because it's always so sad when a really good game gets tainted by a horrible, toxic community. But so far, this has been fine. Now, I love coming to the beaches to, ah, to farm seashells and stuff, but if people farm them before me, then it takes a while for them to respawn, so. But these, I found, can be pretty lucrative. Oh my god, all the weeds! But yeah, here's my home. I only have one additional room and it's so far it's the bedroom. Super spacious. Here's my living room. This is my kitchen and dining area. So yeah, Paleo is really cute. It lets you completely decorate and build. It does take real hours to build. I think that room, the medium size, takes like six hours to build, but it's free, you know? So that's just the sacrifice that you're taking. So this is the main region. Once you come out of your home, you get a look into the village where all of the main stores are and the NPCs are constantly just walking around 
doing things. I want you to be my chef. I think either him or um, Trish I want. Tish? Trish? I want to be my chef. Yeah, fun.